What happens when teaching and learning continually improve in a school year after year after year? How does a new idea about teaching and learning come to life in classrooms? And how does it spread from one or two classrooms to whole grade level teams or whole departments, whole schools, whole districts? These are the kind of questions we're going to be digging into in this course, Launching Innovation in Schools. We look at launching innovation through the lens of leadership. Leadership in schools is the work of bringing colleagues together to make learning better for our students. Leadership isn't a role. It's not a particular person in a department or building, but rather it's a set of functions distributed widely throughout an organization. It's a way of working together with other people. Launching innovation requires leadership from all different parts of a school. Teacher leadership is essential to improving teaching and learning in schools. Only people who work day to day with students can truly change classrooms and learning spaces. School leaders and administrators need to provide the resources and create the conditions for teacher leadership and teacher learning to thrive. This process is a cycle with four interrelated, interlocking components. These four components will organize and guide our explorations together. Launching innovation starts with bringing people together around ideas they care about. Your school has a history, a, a culture. It's not like people have been doing nothing. And one of the big problems we have as leaders is often, without even intending, we communicate that, well, what you're doing now is not okay, you need to do this. That actually isn't what gets innovation moving. It starts with really understanding, honoring, and respecting what people have already done, and then helping them kind of come together around ideas that'll take their work forward. Uh, there's an old line, uh, future's already here. It's just not evenly distributed. Your first job as a leader is to kind of sense and, and pay attention to what people are doing that already is important and can be built upon. Even if leaders, school principals, superintendents don't unilaterally set a direction, they do shine a light. We call the second phase of our launching innovation cycle refining the vision and getting to work. Our goal in this phase is trying to bring people's diverse ideas and perspectives together around a shared vision. The signature quality of our very best schools is coherence. When you walk through the halls of a great school with a principal, she can point out to you how everything hangs together, how the core values of the schools are expressed in school routines and teacher practices and student work. That happens over time as people come together from ideas they care about and focus on something together that's worth improving. A crucial part of innovation is just getting started. Uh, it's not about figuring it all out and developing an elaborate plan, but really getting to work. Uh, it, there's, there's a genius in the simple act of doing it even if you don't have it all sorted out. One of the things we're going to really ask you to do in this whole course is to conceive of something you want to do and get started on it. There's no recipe, there's no plan, and we certainly don't have one. It's not our goal to tell you how to do it in that sense. And to get started, but also to stay open, because you only really learn what works and doesn't work as you're doing it, and getting others to help you in reflecting on how it's working. We describe the process of teachers leading change as another cycle of experiment and experience. In this cycle, it begins with a few pioneering teachers trying something new. They try a new approach, they incorporate a new technology, they adopt new resources, they launch some kind of experiment. And from each of these experiments, other collaborating teachers and colleagues learn and share and gain new experience. And that experience allows more teachers to plan more experiments. It's teacher leadership that's driving that cycle in classrooms. That's where innovation happens. The role of school leaders who don't work with kids every day is to help grease the wheels of that teacher-led cycle by providing teachers with the resources, time, and guidance to try new things and to share what they've learned with their colleagues. As this work goes forward, you're going to go through a lot of ups and downs. Uh, Launching and nurturing innovation is exciting. If it wasn't, you wouldn't do it. There'd be no point in it. But it's also tough. It's hard work. 
and it requires an ability to handle, you know, the peaks and the valleys. One of the things you're going to be doing is really working with people as they go through those valleys and learning better how to kind of sustain energy, even though the emotions will be all over the place. Finally, if anything is worth doing, it's worth measuring whether or not it's working. A crucial part of launching change is measuring progress and adjusting. Part of this work is technical, evaluating whether or not new instructional practices are leading to better learning. And a huge part of this work is cultural, creating the conditions where teachers and administrators can look at evidence, share their candid perspectives, and figure out together how to continually improve. The schools that can figure out this step of constant experimentation, evaluation, and adjustment, they become learning organizations, places where every student, teacher, and administrator in a building has the opportunity to be constantly learning and growing. Bringing people together around ideas they care about. Creating a vision and getting to work. Working together through ups and downs. And measuring progress and continually adjusted, adjusting because you really never get it right the first time. These are the ideas that we're excited to share with you in this course, and we're so excited to learn from your experience as well. My name is Justin Reich. And I'm Peter Senge, and welcome to Launching Innovation in Schools.